dash. She found a stick she likes. Oops. Practicing burying things and hiding stuff and discovering all the little treats that the rest of the bigger squirrels leave around. That's what they learn back here. They learn to squirrel. That's right, they learn to squirrel. stick there for you. That's right, you'll get the hang of it. We gotta get you some dirt back here. First daddy has to vacuum. I don't know where Dot went. Where'd sister go? Sorry, Dash. This is Doc, the little boy. Hi. Let's see my hands are mess. You see me? He likes the phone. This is a fun age, about three and a half, four months. They're just almost big enough to go outside, but they've got a few things to learn. <laughs> Practicing crazy angle jumps. Now that tail belongs to Leia, and they're solo. They are six years, five and a half, six years old. Where are we at? We're in November. Yeah, they'll be six this March. And they're the ones that have ver dwarfism variations that they can't do that as well as even little dot here. You can't have the phone. You can't have it. <laughs> Play with the zipper. You like the phone because you're not allowed to have it like any other kid. Oh, I can't have it? That means I want it more. Where did your sister go? Hi. What? Did you hear me call your name? Hmm? She must have seen something fly over. Everything from airplanes to birds. It'll get their attention. Other squeaking squirrels. And at this point, they still check in with me if something scary happens. And that'll last even when they're outside. When they start their release <laughs> uh, have had many squirrels that we've released when a hawk comes by they will beat feet to the screens and wait to be let in we also have uh, a couple of them when they've been injured they've come right home poor brisby had a bot fly on him that we caught too late and we just let it run its course. It's a natural part of their environment, especially here. And the minute that thing left him, he was here, letting me tend his wound, clean it. And then we had another who had an injury on her uh, tail. It was actually Kiki. 
got her tail caught with something out in the wild. Came straight home, had her home for three, four days after that. Um, more like a week. Just so that I wouldn't get her, let her get it dirty by being out in the trees again. And she happily stayed. So when they're young, they know, you know, you still take care of them. And I'm sure I'm projecting everything on it. But just stating what has happened. All right, we're going to let him play. <laughs> hi, hi. Do you like to run and jump on Dad? <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Get him. Get him. Thought we were going to see you. But then they end up doing something fun. I know what it looks like, but they're too young to be concerned with that. Sorry, I thought I was going to go. <laughs> too young to be concerned with that right now. Right now, that's just a game that all squirrels play. It's sort of a king of the hill pull down. You see them, all the wild squirrels play it, trying to drag each other down out of a tree. And they're just learning to uh, compete with other squirrels by doing that. Because the time it comes to mate or a real serious uh, food supply, they're going to need to learn how to uh, move bodies. No, you can't have the phone. You can't have it. You don't even know anyone's email, their phone number, nothing. Okay, now we'll go. See you then. <laughs>